Hi, in this video I'm going to go over how to make a Spider-Man web swinging system. When we are falling we can left click and launch a web and attach ourselves to the nearest swing point. When we let go we get a small boost and then we can attach ourselves to the next web point. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to our third person character and in the event graph, in some free space, we're going to right click and look for event begin play. And off of this event begin play we're going to look for a set timer by event. And under time, we just want to make this 0.2 seconds and check the loop, looping box every 0.2 seconds. It's going to look for this event. Then off of the event, we're going to drag and look for add custom event. I'm going to call this look for swing point. So every 0.2 seconds, we're going to be looking for a swing point that our player can hang off. So off of this, we're going to look for sphere trace for objects. So sphere trace for objects. And then the start of the trace, we're going to get our actor's location. So we look for get actor location and just hook this up to the start. Then the end of the trace, we're going to get this actor's rotation. So if we look for get actor rotation, then off the return value, we're gonna look for get forward vector. And then we're gonna multiply this. So look for multiply vector by float and we'll make this like a hundred. And then we want to just add this to the original actor's location. So this will do a sphere around our player and when it hits something well no so we're just gonna plug this into end and i'm gonna set the radius of the sphere to be about 1000 so we have 1000 radius square around us and what we're looking for is an object type so we want to look for make array but we're going to be creating our own custom object type so we just compile and we'll head back to this later so we're going to head over to settings project settings and we'll be making our own object type that we're going to be looking for so we're going to look for a collision and then look for object channels and create a new object channel and we'll just call this swing point so we're going to be looking for these swing points and if we hit it we're going to be able to swing from it so i'm just going to close this and we're going to set up an actor which we're going to be able to swing from so i'm looking for a blueprint class actor and i'll just call this my swing point and if we double click and open it up we want to go to add component i'm going to look for sphere collision just select it and we scroll down under collision presets we want to change this to custom and object type we want to look for the swing point that we just made so we can see the swing points in our game i'm going to look for a static mesh and just scroll up and under static mesh i'm going to set the cube so that we can see where our player can swing from in the game so i'll just click compile so now if we go back to our third person character under the make array okay it's not there so i'm just gonna close it because it probably needs to update and now by just reopening the third person character, we can look for swing point. So every 0 0.2 seconds, we're going to be looking for our swing point. And if we hit it, so off of this, we'll look for branch. And then off of the R hit, we just want to look for a break hit value. And then we want to check if we've hit the swing point actor that we just created. So we'll look for cast to swing. Uh, I think it was called swing point. So cast to swing point. And we'll just plug this into true. And once we have this, as a swing point, we want to get the actor's location. So look for get actor's location. Then we right click on this pr promote to a variable. And this will be the swing point location. So we'll need to know this so we know where to swing from. So I'll just plug that in. And once we've got that, I'm going to create a new variable and call it can swing. As if we hit this, then we know our player will be able to swing on it. So we'll just set it and just plug that and tick it so it's true and if we don't hit anything then we're going to set set can swing to false so we'll just leave it unchecked so that we can check this is working in the game off of this i'm going to look for print string and just plug this into the print string and click compile and we'll be able to just quickly see if this is working so i'm just going to drag my swing point in and if i click play we can see it print strings every 0.2 seconds the location of it so it had the correct values. So you just want to check that that's working. So now we have a system which finds our swing points. So I'm just going to select all of this, select C to comment it, and call this my calculate swing location. So I'm now going to make it so that we can swing from stuff. So if we look for the left mouse button, when we press the left mouse button, I'm going to check for two things. So we're first going to create a branch, and I want to check that my character is falling through the air. So we'll track in character movement. Like for is falling 
to my character has to be falling and he also has to have a swing point that you can swing onto so create another branch and check that we can swing and just plug this in so we're going to be swinging with our cable rope so we're going to just set that up in our character so if we hit compile and head to the viewport I'm going to go to add component and look for cable and let's all put a cable in our game and we're just going to quickly modify a few seconds so I'm going to make the cable lamp 1 and it's iteration 16 and I'm going to make its material the ramp material because that looks kind of whitish and then we're just one last thing we're going to set the cable width to be around 2 so it looks quite thin like a string so with the cable selected we're going to go to the details panel and click hidden in game so by default we can't see this and we'll just compile and then we want to head over to our mannequin, use his character folder to his mesh and to his U4 mannequin skeleton. And we're going to create a new socket for where this cable is going to be from. So I'm going to make it on his right hand. So I'm going to look for add socket. And I'll just right click and rename this. And I'll call this my swing. So the rope is going to go from that swing. So it will start from his like hand on that swing socket. So if we can swing, the first thing I'm going to do is drag in my cable and I want to set hidden in game and just check it, check it so that we can see it in the game and then I'm going to set, sorry, set the location of the cable. So we'll just plug this into that and we'll set the location of the cable to be the swing location of the actor that we're going to swing to. And then we're going to set the end location of this cable. So we're going to look for set end location. Plug this in. And the end location is we're going to get our mesh. We're going to get, sorry, get socket transform. And under socket name, we're going to change it to swing. And then we're going to right click, split this, get the return value. And that'll be the location. So that'll be the swing location that we set up in our mannequin. Then after this, I'm going to get the actor's location. And then we're going to get in minus vector. Then we're going to get in the swing location. So we're going to do this to calculate the length that our rope should be. Then off of this, we're going to look for vector length. And then I am going to minus float. And you want to minus it by like a value of 400. Then we right click on this and promote it to a variable and call this new cable length. So this will be the length of our cable. So like how long it will be from like the swing attach point to our hand. And I'm just going to double click and then off of this drag set cable length. So there and then we can just hook this all up together so they will work. So I'm going to hook cable length into new length and just plug this all in. So once we've got that, I'm going to create a new variable and call it attached so that we so that we know when we're attached to a point. So we'll just set attached, plug this in, check that box. And we can comment this code and call it attached. So now we're going to set it up so that we apply a force to our character when he's attached to the rope. So I'm going to look for event tick. So apply this every uh, tick of the second, so every frame. And we're going to create a new function. And this will calculate the force that should be applied to our character when he's swinging. So I'll just call this calculate. Whoops, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> Very well. And to calculate this force, we want to make sure that we're at first attached to a point. So we'll just drag in attached. And just plug this into the condition. Then we want to head over back to the event graph because we need to... Some of this is the same, so we're just going to copy it. So from the cable bit, we're just going to copy all of this with Control C, and then go back to the calculate swing force, and Control V to just paste it back, and we'll just plug this into true, and then we can delete this bit. We can delete this as well. and just plug that in 
and then we can just drag in our new cable length. So this is just to make sure that our cable maintains the length it is when we're swinging across it. So I'll just move that back there. So now we're going to do a formula which will just calculate how much force to apply to our character when he's swinging. So we're going to drag in character movement and we want to add force. And to add this force, we are going to we want to get velocity of the character. And then we want to get the actor's location. And we also need to get the swing location. So that uh, that will be swinging from. So then I'm going to look for the dot product. And plug that into there. Then from get actor location, I want to drag off this and look for vector minus vector. So we'll minus from the swing location. And sorry, we need to plug that into the dot product. Then from this value, we're going to do a uh, vector multiply float. And then we'll just plot, normalize this value first. And then plug this in here. And then we want to multiply this vector by a float. And we want to multiply it by minus two. And this will calculate the force that should be applied to our character when he is moving through the air when he's attached on the rip. So we'll just plug this in. Then there's one more thing we'll do. We'll drag in his character movement and set air control so that he has good control when he's flowing through the air. And I'll just set it to two. And then I think we're done. So we can compile. And then we'll just drag in the calculate swing force and plug this into event tick and compile and we can test this out. So before we actually play it, I forgot to do a few things. So we just need to change this to RTS actor and uncheck this because that will actually make it so that the rope's hidden in the game. And we need to do the same with our calculate swing force. So just uncheck that so we can see the rope. And this needs to be RTS actor for this to be correct. So now if we click compile, close this, drag in our swing point, and then click play. Now if I press the left mouse button, we're now swinging from this point. So now we're going to set up the rest of this. So I'm going to head to the event graph and move this down. And just press C to comment it and call this calculate swing force so we know what it does. Sorry, I spelled that horribly. So now I'm going to set it up so that when we let go of a point when we're still attached, it will boost us in the air. So when we release the left mouse one, I'll make it launch our character up in the air a bit if he's still swinging. So we'll look for a branch. We want to check that our character's still attached. And then if he's still attached, we're going to get the velocity of the character so we'll right click look for get velocity then we're going to add vector 350 so I'm going to launch him about 350 and then to make this launch on the character we'll look for launch character plug this into the launch velocity plug this into this true so it'll launch our character when we let go of the swing point and then when we let go I'm going to set it so that we're not attached anymore. So we'll look for set attached and uncheck it. And then we want to drag in our cable and just set the end location to be zero. So we're not attached to a swing point anymore. And then off the cable again, we're going to set hidden game so we can't see it. And we want to make sure it's checked so we can't see the cable anymore. And then we will just drag in, sorry, we're going to look for character movement. And we're going to set his air control. And I'm going to set it back to the default value of 0 0.2. And just plug this in and click compile. So now we can let go of our rope.
So when I click play and I press and hold the left key, and then if I let go, I'm free. And then if I press and hold it again, I'm now swinging. And we can just use this to swing about and swing around our objects. So now we are going to set up the animations of it so that it looks like he does swinging animations and everything. So if we go to the American animations folder, I will leave a link in the description of some attached animations. So we have two animations. We have a swinging animation and a swing style animation. We'll just drag them in. Under scanning tool, we'll just like for mannequin, click import all. For the start swinging animation, we need to double click, open it up, scroll down and click enable root motion and save this. Then we want to right click on the start swinging, create and create anim montage. And then we don't need to mess with the other one. So we'll go to the third person animation blueprint. And we want to head over to his animation graph. Of the default, we're going to look for default slot and just plug this in. This will allow it so that we can reference and play animation montages later in. And we're going to set up a swinging state. So I'm going to drag in his um, swinging animation. And from the jump start, we want to plug it to swinging animation. And I'm going to create a new variable called swing king and just double click and open up and when we are swinging we will play our swinging animation and to exit this we're going to drag off it and plug it into jump loop and just double click on this dragging swinging and look for not boolean and just plug this in and compile. So now when it's set up in our third person character, so it references these animation states and does all the animation montages we just set up. So if we head before the branch, I'm just going to move all of this back because this is going to be where we're going to place our animation montage. So off of branch, we want to for play animation montage. And we want to select the start swinging montage. So it'll play this when we've got a uh, point to swing and attach to and then after it plays the animation montage after all of this we're going to drag in our mesh look for get anim instance this will allow us to reference the animation blueprint so off of the return value we're going to look for class 2 third person animation blueprint and from here we can set the swinging state to be true so we're going to set swinging check that box plug this in then and plug all that in. Then we just want to move all this and we're going to copy it with Control Z and Control V. And we're just going to uncheck swinging when we let go of the rope. So when we unhold the left mouse button and click compile. So now our character will have some animations when he swings. So he does swinging and swinging. Okay, so that looks a bit weird. So, um,. So there are two ways we can fix that. The first way, we can make the distance between the two swing points further away so that we don't end up on top of the swing point. To fix that, I'm just going to go back to the third person character. I'm going to set his air control to be 0.6 because the default value of 0.2 is too low for me. And if we head over to the swing location, we're going to get our actor's location. And then we want to right click, split, right click, split. And if the Z, so if we're above the swing location, then we're going to make it so that we can't swing or attach to that point. So I'm going to create a branch and just plug this in. And if it's false, then we can uh, we can swing. But if we're above it, then set so that we can't swing on it. So we can't get that. So we can't attach if we're above from that point. So now if I click play, run, swing, so I do my swinging animations. And then I'm above so I can't swing and then when we blow it, we can start to swing and attach from it. And that is how to set up some swinging, Spider-Man swinging in Unreal Engine. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, it helps the channel out and I will see you next time. Bye.